Hello everyone, my name is Iman from Glossika. Today in this video, we will talk about the Moroccan Arabic, or which is also called the Moroccan Darija. A few weeks ago, for the first time, I heard the Moroccan Arabic. It felt like a completely different language. I could not understand a single word. But after listening to the Moroccan Arabic, I began to wonder, is this still Arabic? Why is it still called a dialect? Because it seems so different than all the other dialects I've ever heard. Almost all the speakers of the Arabic language and the learners of the Arabic language know that the Moroccan Arabic is one of the most difficult, if not the most difficult dialect to, to learn. So even most of the native Arabic speakers don't really understand the Moroccan dialect. Well, the Moroccan Arabic is heavily influenced by the Berber language or the Amazigh language and to a lesser extent by the a French and Spanish language. While studying the Moroccan Arabic, I came across three types of words. The first type were the words that were almost exactly the same as the standard Arabic. For example, madrasa, madrasa, qahwa, qahwa, kitab, kitab, huna, huna. The second type were the words that were similar and still recognizable but slightly different, like Dima, daiman. Sma, sama. Shams, shams. Ras, ras. And the third type were the words that were very different and you could not understand them if you were a native speaker of the standard Arabic. And most of these words were loan words from the Amazigh language or Spanish and French. For example, loan words from French: uh, stylo, qalam, fromage. Juban, Cozina, Matbakh, and loan words from Spanish, Semana, Usbu'a, Sbetar, Mustashva, and words from Amazigh language, Shhal, Kam, Atai, Shai, Sarut, Miftah, and the word Sharjam, which in standard Arabic is Nafida is a loan word from Persian uh, Tarchub or Tarjam meaning frame or fort size. So far, the most difficult thing about the Moroccan Arabic is the pronunciation. The way the vowels and the syllables disappear and the way the words are all pronounced together that makes it very difficult to understand. Most of these words you might actually know but the way they are pronounced it makes it unrecognizable to the native speakers of the Arabic. So you might find out that it's a lot easier to recognize the words when you look at the text instead of just listening. In terms of grammar, the Moroccan Arabic is similar to other dialects of Arabic with some minor differences. Another thing that I came across when uh, studying the Moroccan Arabic were the verbs. Some of the most commonly used verbs were very different from the standard Arabic. So it's important to learn those verbs very early on while studying the Moroccan Arabic. I would say majority of the verbs are still similar to the standard Arabic, but uh, some of the most commonly used verbs tend to be more different. And some other verbs, they might look different or they might look uh, unrecognizable in the beginning, but if you have a good knowledge of the standard Arabic, it will be a lot easier to, to understand them. For example, the word to work, khidam in standard Arabic is amala but the word khidam uh, came from the standard Arabic word uh, khadama or khidma uh, service or to serve so as you can see the two words are actually very close to each other like the meanings another example would be the, the verb uh, to open hil in standard Arabic uh, the verb to open is fataha but uh, halla in standard Arabic means to solve or to loosen or to unfold so as you can see if you know the standard Arabic then you know that uh, these two words are actually very similar to each other although they they are used differently but the meanings are, are very similar in my opinion the Moroccan Arabic is very different from the other dialects especially compared to Egyptian dialect or the Iraqi dialect or other Middle Eastern dialects but at the core is still Arabic I always say that uh, a good knowledge of the standard Arabic is crucial to learn the dialects the majority of the words are similar to the standard Arabic with some uh, variation in, uh, in pronunciation. I hope some of those tips and some of those things that we talked about will guide you and also will help you to learn this dialect a lot faster. Well thank you for watching the video. If you like the video don't forget to press the like button 
and also subscribe to our Glossika channel. Thank you for watching again and see you in the next video.